Ready for a new project in which you make a lot of money over a year? Yep! Let's start! Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Entrepreneur, and before anybody says anything, before you leave a comment, before you send an email, before you send me a tweet, I just need to say up front that yes, I am aware that the eBay logo no longer looks like this. I don't care that it no longer looks like this. I think the new eBay logo sucks. I think it sucks hard. And I like the original better. Yeah, people say it's 90s. You know what? Apparently, the 90s had a much better personality than, well, today where we all use the same stupid font. I mean, if you don't believe me, just take a look at, I mean, look, there's the old one, new one, old one, new one, look, same font. Heck, you can even take a step further, look at that, like, does any of that even look remotely different? It all looks the same. So yeah, I like the old font better, and that's what we're going to use when we do this video series. But what is this video series? Well, you may remember that, of uh, well, in the last year, we did a year-long Robin Hood experiment, where I took you through a year of investing in Robinhood and where I am compared to last year compared to where I am nowadays. By the way, Robinhood is starting to bounce back a little bit. Definitely not a huge increase today, but you know, it's still it's still going up a little bit. So, but the stock market's definitely been hurt hard. However, you may have gotten a small little peek one time of my eBay account. Now, I've been notoriously private about my eBay store my amazon store my mercari store for personal reasons i'm not going to be shy about my shopify store in the future but we'll talk about it in a minute so anyway here is my ebay account now i'm hiding the name of the store for obvious reasons but that's not even important here's what's important the last 31 days i made six thousand three hundred sixty three dollars and four cents on ebay when you throw in my other stores i made more than this and so here's what we are going to do. We are going to go on kind of a store building, uh, not store building, an e-commerce building uh, money-making mission for a year. We are going to buy merchandise throughout the year specifically to build the store. And we're going to see if where we wind up in the end. Like, you know, was the investment worth it? Did we make a lot of money? Uh, can you make a sustainable business on eBay? And granted, some people are more successful at it than others. And I'm not saying that if we are a success on this channel that you can necessarily be successful. We are also not saying if we are a failure on this channel, that does not mean you will be successful. We are just going to be doing, we're just going to be doing a little experiment to see where do we start, where do we end. And that's just where it's going to be. And to track our progress, I have actually created a spreadsheet a spreadsheet for items that will be purchased, what they're gonna sell for, and we're gonna be sharing updates on this quite frequently. So the spreadsheet, as you can see, has a date. That's obviously the date when the item was either bought or listed. We have the actual item, we have the item cost, then we have the price sold, plus the tax. In fact, actually, I believe, now that I'm thinking about it, this should be over here item cost, the tax, then what it sold, then the price sold, what site it was sold on, uh, what was the site fee, what was the payment fee, and whether or not that item was a yielded a profit or a loss. So let us start because I've got my I've got my receipts and I've got my items. We're gonna start by listing a few items. Now, the first one I'm going to list is the one that's going to make a lot of you very, very unhappy because I'm one of those things that gamers hate. I am a dreaded scalper, and I'm going to show you exactly why scalpers do what they do. I know that you say system scalping is a problem. I don't totally disagree, but there's a reason they do it, and you're going to see firsthand why that is. So... Let's start with this um, item that we bought on April 1st. April 1st. This, Although this is no April Fool's Day joke, this was actually bought on April Fool's, Fool's Day. And it is an Xbox 
Series X console. The item price is, well, let's put a dollar sign just to make it more official. $499.99. The tax, and it should be noted that this was a bundle, so we're just gonna throw the tax in with the main item, $52.70. I keep forgetting the dollar symbol. So there you go. What is also bought on this day, and we will expand that to have a few, was a copy of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Oh, shoot, sorry. Which was, uh, according to this, $59.99. We're just going to go zero tax on that because, again, the tax was included for the bundle. We also got Hitman 3, $59.99. I might have to just skip out on the dollar symbol. And Controller Xbox 4, $59.99. So anyway, those are the three things, and actually these were all bought on the same day, so let's fix that. These were, so these are all things that I bought um, in a bundle online, obviously, and as you can see, some gamers are going to be unhappy because a lot of you would love to have an Xbox Series X and unfortunately have to go through people like me to get it, but I'm going to show you how much it sold for. So this is the listing for the Xbox that I have on hand. And yeah, I'm blocking out the store name for obvious reasons. And it sold for $800 with a $40 shipping. Now, overall, this whole bundle with the tax cost $732.69. So you can definitely see why I'm doing doing this. But what does that actually mean? So let's go here. The price sold was $800. The site sold eBay. The site fee. Well, here we have our answer. Our fees was $80 for the console and $4 for the shipping. So that is a total of $84 for the site fee. Now, obviously, I can't show certain information on this order. However, as you can see, this is the Xbox Series X that we had sold for $80. Um, after the tax and shipping, it was, you know, $90. Now, the tax is collected by eBay, so that that's not even a factor. But the PayPal fee was $26.12, so we are going to put $26 and 12, oops, sorry, $26 and 12 cents. Now, of course, this was a bundle, but we're gonna be listing this as its own separate item so we can see exactly how much money we made on the Xbox Series X. So let's open the calculator, the trusty handy dandy calculator, and let's do this. So we have, $499.99 plus tax. That's $52.70. Also, cost of the ship. In fact, um, that should probably be the next thing we do there. Let's do a couple um, a couple uh, things here. So We're going to do shipping payment, payment, and uh, well, let's let's delete this all t together, and we'll put up here, insert one on the right, shipping cost. The idea being everything over here is 
what we paid for it. Here's what we paid for it. Here's what we sold it for. And here are the fees. So the shipping cost for this item was, let me see if I, let me pull this up, see if I can remember. So I looked it up and I can't show you the, it just be too much to black out, but the shipping cost was $29.32. Now, some people might be looking at this and saying, you jerk, Kevin, you're actually charging more for the shipping than what it's costing to ship. You're ripping people off. No, remember, there is, um, there is a fee for the shipping. So you want to factor in the fee, the gas, your time, and packaging materials before you ship everything. So let's just let it be known. Whatever it costs to ship on the sticker is not always what it costs to ship the item. And you have to factor that into your listing and your pricing whenever possible. And also hide the list, the amount that you paid for the shipping. Because unfortunately, what happens is if you put the price of the postage on the package, people will see it and they'll say, hey, it costs you $4 less to ship this. I want my money back. And the thing is, no, that money is well spent. You got to get the box. You got to get the protective material. You got to spend gas to get to the post office. Always charge a little bit more for shipping so that it covers the other hidden costs of shipping that you otherwise wouldn't see. But let's continue our... Um, our, you know, little calculating. So we're gonna add the shipping costs to, well, let's actually not do that. So this is what the item cost. This is what it sold for. Oops, sorry, let's do that. Let's do that again. 800 uh, minus 499 minus 5270. $247.31. Not bad. But again, we have, um, oh yeah, they did pay $50 for the shipping. Uh, now we have to pay the site fee. That's $84. Then we got to pay the PayPal fee in this case. That's $26.12. Then you got to pay the shipping costs. And so then you have $157.87 as your profit let us copy that and there you go that is our profit a hundred and let's just uh make make this all in bold because we want the profits to be bold so i profited 157 dollars and 87 cents i had this item for less than a day by the way this is why everyone is doing that because you say, oh, no, you got 2,000 sy systems, you greedy jerks. Well, yeah, they're greedy jerks. I mean, let's say you manage to get 2,000 systems, and look, that's a profit, quarter of a million dollars. Why wouldn't people do, the do this? It just makes sense. So anyway, that's where we're going to start. Now, I'm going to take a minute because I have other items to list, and I think it would be cumbersome if I showed you me uh, <laughs> if I showed me doing all of them. So I'm going to add some more items, and we'll be back in a minute. All right, so I've put several items that I have bought the past week onto the spreadsheet. Uh, some of the taxes might seem a little wonky because, for example, all of this was bought together and rather just figure out what each individual item paid in taxes. I just did the whole, you know, count out how many items and did the divide thing. So uh, even though this might cost $7 and this might cost $23, uh, they all have $3.76 as tax because that's what I paid for the whole order all together. And obviously these were all bought together. And as you can see, there's a few duplicate items. I have bought a few copies of this game, Super Mario 3D All-Stars. And the reason I'm buying a bunch of these right now is because Nintendo has discontinued this game. And this is kind of like the stock purchase for this experiment. And hopefully we'll get to see it pay off before the end of the year. Because what happens is this game has been pulled from the digital Nintendo eShop and the whatever copies are on the store shelves remaining, that's going to be it. And Nintendo games, when they become hard to find and when they're not on the shelves anymore, tend to command astronomically high prices. So uh, I'm kind of investing that this will be valuable in the future, but we don't know. This one's a little bit of a gamble, but... Just to let you know, if any of you want to do this experiment with me, I'm not telling you what to do with your money. You you decide what you can sell yourself. 
but it's usually not a bad idea to bet on Nintendo games. What's also on here, and I actually forgot to put this on the spreadsheet, so I will in a second, is Altlier Riza, which seems to be low on stock most of the time, and therefore people seem to be paying double for that, and we're going to see if that holds true. In fact, let me put this on the spreadsheet. There you go, and we'll just say that, yeah, we'll just say it was bought on the 5th and the 6th. Why not? I know this isn't this is this is going up on the fifth but what a whatever you, you know what i'm saying so anyway this is what we're starting with and we will add more merchandise as the year goes on and i will highlight some of the things that i'm buying specifically to sell on the store now i already have a lot of merchandise already on my ebay amazon and mercari stores so if an old item sells we will put it on the spreadsheet however we will predate it to uh when the item was listed so and i've usually got a pretty good memory at what these things cost so we'll make a little guesstimate um but you know and if it's a personal item that i decided to sell you know what that's we'll count the sale but we're not going to cost the, count the cost of the sale because that's a personal item that i no longer wanted so what it cost really doesn't matter too much now before we go on any further we did, at the very least, sell one Xbox Series S's. So let's look at what I sold that for. So looking at this listing, it looks like we sold the Xbox Series S for $399.99. And yes, sometimes my wife does help out with selling of these items. So let's go over here, uh, the Xbox Series S. Sold it for for $399.99. The shipping payment is $50. The site we sold it on was eBay. Now, what was the site fee? I believe I have that up right now. Yeah, here it is. Uh, so it was 1680 plus 210 that's $18 and 19 $18.90 that will set us back $14 and 36 cents as for the shipping costs that is $22 and 58 cents so let us take a look at <laughs> what the, the final number is. So we have $399.99 plus 50 minus 1890 minus 1436 minus 2258. And oh yeah, yes, we have to factor in the cost of the item and the tax. So this is not quite the profit that you would normally want, but the profit is $70.99. So it's not as profitable as the Xbox Series X. However, it should be noted, shipping costs are lower, the fees are lower, the cost of the item is much lower than the Xbox Series X. So there you, there you go. That's just a, that's a solid profit. And I'm going to say from personal experience, the s units when you price it around this well that's pretty much what you sell for it doesn't stay very long it stays maybe 24 hours and then you pocket about 70 dollars. that is not a bad return on investment as for the rest of these things i guess you're just gonna have to tune in and find out exactly what we sold them for but so far just starting off this little experiment of Ours, we have made $228.86. That's only looking back by a few days. And by the way, that's not even including a couple of items that I sold, which we will talk about in our next video, which would be coming up in a couple days because I think for the first uh, week or two, we're going to have to make a few of these a week. And then you can see exactly how this is working. And you know that's going to be pretty cool so anyway this is the new experiment let's just see how much money we can make 
on these websites uh, by the end of next year. Well, actually, let's see. We're starting April 5th. So April 5th of next year, give or take a day, I might decide to end the experiment early. Who knows? Uh, we will see exactly how much I pocketed and how much was put into it to pocket that, what the losses were. So, yeah. Uh, this should be a fun one. Anyway, I would like to know what do you think of this? Are you willing to take the journey with me? Are you excited about this? And I want to know what some of your eBay slash Amazon slash Mercari slash Shopify products are. Uh, let me know what your experiences are, how much you've made. You, we can always compare notes below. And uh, also, just let you know, yes, I will be sharing my Shopify link at some point because many of these items, and I'll let, note them when they are, go up, will be listed on Shopify as well. And Shopify, I do not mind sharing the link to because it's a private site and I can, you know, control the information that goes out there. I'm not beholden to feedback. So anyway, uh, let me, I am looking forward to doing this and we will see you tomorrow or the day after. Take care.